we have not had a full deck uh, this spring, and, and, and very few college volleyball teams are playing with uh, their, their full um, depth chart at this point in time because you, you have injuries, and just like us, you know, we had, I think, four surgeries um, you know, after the season, including Carly Kramer, who was actually done prior to the end of the season. Uh, Ariel Turner is you know, nursing uh, a shoulder that had more than its fair share of swings during the 2011 season. We just want to make sure that she's strengthening that and, and that that's going to be ready to go for us in the fall. So she's not playing this spring. Uh, Rachel Davis just got back to be able to play about half the time, and she's our you know, starting setter from a year ago. Um, Kaisley Fisher is not playing. She had uh, labrum surgery. Courtney Goswich had hip surgery. Um, Carly Kramer um, came back, thought she was full go, but uh, Carly plays 150%. She's only supposed to be playing 100%, and uh, she's kind of had to kind of rein her in a little bit. Uh, but she, we think she'll be able to go this weekend. Uh, did not play last weekend. So, you know, we're not really putting the same kind of team we're going to put on the floor next year. But in a lot of ways, that's a real benefit because players who need some of that playing time and those opportunities to improve themselves are getting a lot of court time. Hillary Fox and Amanda Miller are mainstays on this team. You know, they, they hardly leave the floor. Amanda's been playing some libero. Hillary Fox has been playing left side where she's in the game the whole time and getting lots of ball control training. Valerie Nickel, uh, who is a very versatile performer, uh, was an outside hitter for us all last year, is doing most of the setting for us this spring. And down the road, we anticipate that being uh, a real option for her. But now it gives us some flexibility that if next year we want to run a two-setter system from time to time, now we've got some experience with that. And, uh, and she'll be ready to go. Um, but, you know, the rest of the kids are, are, are really training hard and, and, and getting better. And, uh, you know, I think they recognize they have an opportunity in front of them to do something special. And um, you know, I think we're making good progress. We're hosting a spring tournament in, uh, at, at Beelan Court. Uh, there will be a lot going on on Saturday on the, on the Purdue campus, which I think makes it fun. Uh, certainly the spring football game right across the street will bring in a lot of people and uh, certainly wish Coach Hope and his uh, young men uh, a great day of, of great football and, and hope that our, our fans will come out and, and support that program, which I think is also moving uh, in the right direction and, and making really good progress. But um, we will host uh, several teams. We're only gonna, we will only play two matches. We will play uh, Valparaiso, and that's a schedule change. We originally st scheduled to play IUPUI, but we've already played them a couple of times this spring. So both coaches agreed that, you know, let's mix things up a little bit. So we will play Valpo at 10 o'clock. Uh, there'll be a break, and then we'll come back and play a good Dayton team at 1.30. So that will be basically what Purdue's role will be on that, on that day. IUPUI will also be here. I think the University of Indianapolis will be here, and Ball State will be here. So, you know, fans can come in and, and, and see five uh, teams, four teams from the state plus Dayton who's coached by an Indiana guy and two Indiana assistants. So um, it, it should be a, a good day of volleyball here. And it's all the admission is free, no charge to get in to watch spring volleyball. And there'll be two courts set up, so there'll be action going on um, you know, pretty much from 10 o'clock until 3 o'clock uh, 